my very first uh, memory of Into the Woods, which will be with me forever, uh, was the first night we did the read through and uh, Jasmine gave us our sort of intro pep talk from her perspective, which was, these were Sondheim's words. We were borrowing these words. These are not our words to keep or change. These are Sondheim's words and they must be articulated exactly as Sondheim wrote them. Um, it made quite an impression. I came home from rehearsal and my family asked me how it had gone. And I was like, I'm borrowing his words, but I don't get to keep them. They've got to go back to Sondheim. Uh, it, it, it definitely made an impression. How challenging musically the show was oh. and, <laughs> and how it really like stretched. <laughs> um, I don't know. I felt like whenever we had to come to rehearsal, everyone was just like very dedicated and serious and we kind of went straight into rehearsal. But I really loved it about the show. I felt like we really challenged me. It was really challenging. Actually, I remember having to prepare an audition and it had to be a Stephen Sondheim song. That was really challenging. But figuring out what song to do as, as an audition for this show um, was really interesting because usually we have a little bit more like choice for audition songs, but having to like peruse the Steven Spielberg, Steven Spielberg, Steven Sondheim <laughs> um, catalog for the audition was, was, was really um, interesting and specific. So lucky for me, as Rapunzel, I got um, to perform most of my scenes with the amazing Shira Bruskilla as the witch. Um, watching her shine on stage and deliver one of the most incredible performances was such a treat for me. She was amazing. I got to sing a duet with her, um, do a funny scene and a more intense scene, and um, she was incredible. So that, was for me, was really amazing. Well, let's see, aside from playing a crazy, sarcastic witch, um, the cast. I just love every single lady who was in that show with me so, so much. Uh, many of them gave me tips for both on and off the stage, which I still cherish and really, really appreciate. Playing the role of Cinderella's mother and enchanting the tree. Into the Woods is easily in my top five favorite musicals. I love singing through these complex compositions and witty lyrics and it's really f interesting and fun to see how these stories that we all know from our childhood collide and meet and interact and when we finally learn what happens after, happily ever after. I was Jack's mother and the character of Jack very much reminded me of my own son at the time, who I guess in 2014 was um, four. Uh, and so uh, he offered to run lines with me and I readily accepted. And this is a video of us running lines together. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jack and I am a young person, but I can kill a giant. <clears throat> Going off to market, Jack. Goodbye, mother. Now, I want you to stay inside. But I've never been outside all day. Listen to me, Jack. I don't want you out, out when there might be a giant on the loose. But I should kill the giant. Please, we've had our fill of giants. But mother, if I could help. Enough. Promise me, son. You won't leave your surroundings. But I'm a man now. But I'm a man now. You're still a little boy in your mother's eyes. I want you to promise. Promise! I promise. Into the Woods was like a bucket list show for me. I saw it for the very first time when I was in the seventh grade. Boy, did I fall in love with that show. And I had the entire show memorized by the time seventh grade was over. I absolutely loved the show. I loved all the parts, but the one part I really, really wanted to play at some point in my life was the baker's wife. So lo and behold, JWRC comes along and says, we're gonna do the Into the Woods. And it was an absolute dream come true for me to be able to play this incredible part. My costume for Into the Woods was probably my favorite costume of all time. I didn't have to worry about ironing it or keeping it clean or neat, pressed, anything like that. The messier, the better. My entire head was covered in tangly gray hair that hadn't seen a barber or a razor in 20 years. 
My arms and legs were covered in dirt, and the best part of all, I got to do the entire show barefoot. In fact, a student of mine once referred to the show as that one when Mrs. Shamblatt didn't have shoes. Into the Woods was my very, very first show with JWRC, so it will always hold a very, very special place in my heart. It was the only show that I played a woman so far, and a blonde one at that. <laughs>